All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a game between Lucifer and Lolly. At this game taking place on is this Concealed Hill? Let me double check. Uh, where is it? It is Concealed Hill on over here on the bottom left hand side of the map. We have Lucifer spawning as the blue undead. Meanwhile, over here on the top right, we have Lolayette spawning as well, the red night elf. Night elf versus undead in this 1v1 matchup. Ancient of War being built close to this creep camp here. And that, well, is obviously there for early, early experience. Uh, um, my apologies. I am a little bit uncomfortable right now. Um, well, yeah, just uh, got some bad bruising. So if you see me stretching or sitting or trying to do something a little bit out of the ordinary, well, that's the reason why I don't hide anything on this show because, well, not that many viewers are really out there. So I want to thank the the Warcraft 3 family that I have developed over the years. Um, the consistent, what, 700 to 1500 views that I get per video. It is for all of you guys that I do this. And, well, if you guys like what you see, definitely recommend me. Um, as I know, Warcraft 3 Reforged is right around the corner. Thank you, Rainer, for tuning on in. And I guess at this point, um, if you guys are wondering when I stream, I try to stream around 3.30 to 4 o'clock uh, every weekday, except for Wednesdays. Wednesdays, I end up taking my daughter to a, a number of therapies in order to, well get better at life i guess death knight going up against a keeper of the grove la Layette opening up with what i'm going to believe is going to be mass archers as we see an acolyte actually joining in on the fight and dealing a significant amount of damage to that archer there or excuse me that yeah the archer there the keeper of the grove now is going to be out onto the field going to go ahead and summon up a number of well of ents right there and who's going to get the final shot off you can see this ancient of war is absorbing a lot of damage and it does need to regenerate those, um, well, regenerate its hit points rather fast. It's already down to 71 hit points, but it looks like it will end up surviving and be able to live and fight another day as it gets closer and closer back home. Back on the other side here, Keeper of the Grove going to continue all of this here as we're going to get a couple of Ents now joining in on the fight. Now, Death Knight with some Skeletal Minions already out running across the field. Perhaps going to try and get another round of Skeletal Research. Minions. No, going to just use the corpses that are going to be left behind here. And it's going to be Ents versus Skeletal Minions. All right, those Ents are going to be a good, dealing a good amount of damage. Keeper of the Grove is already out onto the field at level 2. And that Death Knight really is not going to be able to do all that much. Are we going to see Death of a Force of Nature? Yes, we do. Some experience finally on the board as Lolai Ed should be able to easily handle this harassment here. The Keeper of the Grove as an anti-harassment hero and, an, uh, and a harassment hero of his own. He's able to defend against this army of skeletal minions because of those Ents. Giving also home field advantage because of these Moonwells allows that Keeper of the Grove to even chase wild, you know, back at home they are still doing creeping. Back across over here, though, Army of Ghouls making some short work of this 4-3-2 creep camp. Death Knight should be very, or getting closer to level 2 here in just a moment, needing to, well, finish off the remainder of these units now. I guess it was a 4-3-3, not a 4-3-2. Wisp currently out. Let's take a look at this. We could be looking at a Death Coil, and it looked like that Wisp was trying to time, trying to see if the Death Knight would try and cast a Death Coil. The Wisp purposely stopped right in front of that Moonwell and noticing that Moonwell says, you know what, if you launch a Death Coil at me, I'm just going to drink a little bit of that Moonwell juice and then perhaps hide inside that gold mine. You would be down 75 mana. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 2, getting very close to level 3. Evening, love your YouTube channel, love the game, love your work, much respect, all the best. Thank you very much for everyone who has tuned in. I guess I am getting some Australian viewers, or is mate just... Well, do I just naturally think mate is an Australian term? It would make sense since I'm casting this on a Friday when normally people don't have time to watch um, on a weekday morning, but being able to watch on a Saturday morning is, well, not all that strange. 
Death Knight gonna make its way over here to the Knoll Overseer Creep Camp. Let's see what's gonna be happening in Death Knight. Now, wandering on in here, ghouls are gonna be in position. There is that essence of, not essence of Blight, that sacrificial skull for Blight. Now down out onto the field. Acolyte gonna be able to summon up two ziggurats and perhaps haunt this gold mine. Set up this expansion. Meanwhile, the Keeper of the Grove is going to be bringing in the Hurt. Going to be summoning up a number of those skeletons here in just a moment. As you can take a look, also getting an Entangle onto a Ghoul. All right, so a Ghoul taking a large amount of damage. Low hit point Ghoul perhaps should be backing up. There is a Death Claw to try and save it as another one gets taken out. All right, Ghoul down to 58 hit points. It does get taken down. Two Ziggurats still trying to get summoned up as the Ziggurats now getting pressured by that Knoll Overseer. Keeper of the Grove opting to go for three um, Entangles as opposed to summoning any Skele or any of those Ents and is really getting a large amount of damage through here. That Ghoul down to 44 life. Two more shots. One more shot should do it. There it goes. Keeper of the Grove getting in some major damage now. If you guys are paying attention, though, the Undead Army still has a much... Oh, wait, no, 17. Sorry, the colors are swapped. Let me go ahead and swap that back. Yeah, 21 to 34. 34 is going to be the blue Night Elf over here on the top right-hand side as we are now going into Hippogriff and potentially Hippogriff Riders. Alchemist, now with the Ring of Regeneration, not necessarily the best item on the Alchemist since his armor is so low. But then again, his strength is so high that there always seems to be some hit points to regenerate anyways. Death Knight now going to be making its rounds. It does have a pendant of mana. Should be able to launch a number of death coils. That Alchemist, who looks dangerously low on hit points, still has quite a bit left though because of his overall high hit point count. Your building is now, we are looking at double crypt, double gargoyles coming in in this game. And this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Mass gargoyles versus mass hippogriff and hippogriff riders. The upside for the hippogriff riders is, well, if they see too many gargoyles, they just simply dismount the hippogriff riders and the archers, both able to deal a large amount of damage to Our those air units. Illusion quickly making its way down, quickly getting taken out there. Skeletal minions tr still doing a lot of scouting. And the skeletal minions know that there are going to be a lot of hippogriff riders, hence the large number of gargoyles. Alchemist, now sitting at level 2, hasn't teched a level, another ability yet. Meanwhile, let's take a look on Concealed Hill. Going after these red drakes, the hippogriffs are very, very powerful since they do deal well, a high amount of damage. Let's take a look. Belt of Giant Strength picked up by the Alchemist. Already up to 1,025 hit points at level 3 with a Ring of Regeneration. His damage, well, he is a frontline damage tank. A Night Elf may want to try and heal up at the Ogre Magi Creep Camp, trying to finish off the remaining units. More Hippogriff Riders are here, ready to go. Or sorry, Hippogriffs are here, ready to go. Alchemist going to slide its way over here to this one Fountain of Health. This one Forest Troll Berserker will get taken down as the Alchemist, while desperately needing to get back up to full hit points, is going to stay and relax, relax at this Fountain of Health Spa for a little while longer. Back down to the south here, we are looking at the expansion. It is up. Slaughterhouse getting added in. Tree of Life has not entangled the expansion here at the 11 o'clock. So that is going to take a little bit more time. And as the time goes, well, Undead is going to have more and more gold. Lucifer will be in a great position to try and follow things up. Alchemist is going to perhaps try and acid bomb anything. The Hippogriff Riders, they do have better uh, range because of that piercing damage, but the majority of that damage actually goes back the other way. All right, acid bomb, focus, fire. Let's take a look. Gargoyle, shockwave, ogre lord. Oh, wait, nope. Keeper of the Grove got the experience there. Death coil, not in time. And you also see the item, which was picked up by the Alchemist. A claws of attack plus 12. Claws of attack plus 12, tr tremendous damage indeed. Upwards of f or lower and now up to 53 damage, up to 75. That damage coming in from the Alchemist who also has an anti-air attack naturally should be able to focus down gargoyles if it wants to. This is one of those strange situations where the melee hero actually has a ranged attack for air. And with that, 
the Al alchemist doesn't really need to dive that far into fights all right let's take a look at this we are going to go ahead and engage there was a boulder somewhere up onto that keeper of the grove keeper of the grove will stay at four alchemist may get to level four as well only time can tell, but the Gargoyles are here, ready to go. No, Alchemist now going to try to back off as the Gargoyles are going to be get into position. Acid Bomb across multiple, and you can see all of that damage right there and that negative armor as we see some entangles join in as well. All right, big Frost Nova Hippogriffs now going to go ahead and dismount, and both sides going at it in the air. Hippogriffs, Scroll of Healing, Obsidian Statue is in position as well. Archers are now down onto the ground. Who is going to come out on top as the units are now trying to get away? Hippogriff is going to get pecked apart, and now there's archers on the ground here. Archers falling at the hands of the other heroes. Lich now joining in on the fight, and Undead absolutely owning this battle now with a large amount of, well, supply advantage. All the archers, all the Hippogriffs pretty much lost beautiful death quells by the death knight to save the lich and with that well big advantage by the undead um in uh, coming into this next fight potion of lesser invulnerability being used alchemical raging alchemist trying to perhaps take down some of these gargoyles here lich is at two death knight is at four mana is low and with all of that said and done i do well, I think the undead Lucifer came out ahead in that battle, but he cannot, he can no longer press the advantage. That's one thing that I often see. Um, well, new players and even, even intermediate players fall into a trap. They do damage, they win a battle, and they go, yeah, I got to strike while the iron is hot. But little do they um, consider the state of their own army. Their heroes potentially or primarily death knight and lich are both relatively low on mana undead had actually returned or sorry night elf had actually returned back home keeper of the grove and alchemist are much stronger at this stage so they'll be able to do even more the problem though is that these hippogriffs are not going to be able to do very much as we are now going into a potential creep jack all right let's take a look units need to head back away alchemist is right here gonna go ahead and continue to fight all of this here as we take a look keeper of the grove scroll of town portal being forced Gargoyles are upgraded 1-0 as the units will be backing out. Greta is going to hate on me, but I always want to see tree deaths as decayed. All right. Alchemist sitting at level 4. Keeper of the Grove sitting at 4. Goblin Shredder is here. And adding in even more, even more Hippogriffs is, well, highly questionable at this point. Hippogriffs do deal 51 to 65 damage. Their attack speed, however, lower or the overall damage com lowered compared to the gargoyles as the hippogriffs. Uh, well, are they going to be able to do enough there? 51 to 64, 62 to 80. Yeah, a big difference in overall damage. 410 hit points compared to 525. I guess in that case, it is pretty much about even. All right. Still wondering why people stop by onto the stream and then quickly leave. Uh, what, do I just talk too much? This is a cast. It's play-by-play -play casting. All right, let's take a look. Engagement there. There was what looked to be a scroll of town portal, but then canceled. What is going on here? Gargoyles now going after the tree of life. Gargoyles do not deal that much piercing damage to fortified armor, but with enough units, that damage will start to add up. Hippogriffs are off to the side here. This tree of life is not getting repaired. What is going on? What are we waiting for? As we're going to go ahead and engage here. All right, Hippogriffs, Acid Bomb. Acid Bomb does remove much of that, or removes armor, so everything takes additional bonus damage. However, the units are still fighting back left and right. Lich could be in trouble. Is it going to get taken down? All right, use a scroll of healing right there, followed by a death coil in order to survive. Gargoyles with Acid Bomb still surviving that damage over time as the Obsidian Statue has a large amount of heal going on. Hippogriffs trying to strike while the iron is hot, trying to engage against all of these units. Hippogriffs are falling as well as this is just turning into a massive air battle here as units after unit are still well getting taken down. Keeper the Grub now getting up to level 5 here. Death Knight needs to get out of a bad spot. And it will finally scroll of town portal out. 46 supply compared to four or 39 compared to 40. Not too bad for either side right now. Both sides are sitting on two bases, but we can take a look. This ancient protector and this expansion in the middle is that fifth critical expansion. 
if Lali Et is able to get that fifth expansion up and running while staying at low upkeep, the gold advantage is going to be tremendous and he's going to be able to replenish his forces faster. Vampiric Aura, uh, well, each of the auras is essentially a 10% bonus. Um, if you ever if you ever want to look at it that way, it is about a 10% bonus in terms of damage, attack speed, movement speed, all of that there. So level 1 Vampiric Aura may not be able to do that much. You're healing, I guess, 7 damage per swipe, and that isn't really enough. Maybe level 2 Vampiric Aura with those Hippogriffs would allow them to win as well, but that's not what you're really hoping for. Having your hero's auras um, really determine as opposed to just having strong unit composition. I don't know what's worse, clumping up against Frost Nova or against Acid. Uh, well, Frost Nova, everything gets slowed. Retreats are much more, well, a uh, linger some, and things end up going bad from worse. Acid Bomb, well, everything takes more damage. So Acid Bomb is almost one of those situations where when you're winning, you can press your advantages and win more. Um, well, it's still, so it's the same for Frost Nova. If you're winning and your opponent is forced to retreat, you Frost Nova and you pick off more units. So no clear-cut winner between those two. As Ents now join in on the fight to finish off some Acolytes. Chemical Raging Alchemist now joining in as well. Let's take a look. Only three Ents here. It may be level three Entangle overall as these Acolytes are going to fall. However, it is only going to fall back to two bases to two as the middle port, uh, excuse me, two bases to one as this middle expansion is going to get cleared out. I don't know what is worse. Yeah, okay, already answered that question. Back across here, Hippogriffs keeping track of what's going on. They're here ready to go, finishing off a handful of now down units here as we could be getting in some additional Acolytes. Crypt Fiends are going to be here ready to web down those Hippogriffs. That could potentially be a problem. 59 over 80 compared to 70 over 90. As the Crypt Fiends want to hunt down these Hippogriffs and then just slowly pick them out. Alright, couple of Wisps are going to get taken down. There goes one, there goes another. And as the economy gets worse and worse, well, it's going to force a, an engagement coming in from La Layette. Fairy Dragons are going to be in here. Are they going to perhaps go into Mana Flare mode? I haven't seen that as of yet. Crypt Fiends getting entangled to try to get out of the bad spot. Um, well, a Death Coil comes in and lands. Able to finish off a handful of these Crypt Fiends as there's a bit of a traffic jam right now on these Crypt Fiends. It looks like another one will get taken down. Alchemist sitting at level 5. Level 3 Acid Bomb could also be in play. Hippogriffs are still up into the air. Acid Bomb, Chemical Raging Alchemist still fighting its way through. And it looks like, yeah, Acid Bomb is ju was just eating away at so many units as the Keeper of the Grove was forced of Staff of Preservation. And now we even see La Layette going into dual Chimeras. Chimera Roost now making its way back out. Let's take a look. More engagement here. Alchemist going to be ready to join on in on this fight. 2-2 two, two upgrades. Perhaps we'll see Mana Flare to try and stop some of the additional casting from those Obsidian statues. But it's just going to be simply waiting on time and damage. About to engage. Hippogriff's going to join in on the fight. Let's take a look. Going straight after those units as we see Chimeras now out onto the field. Chimeras are looking to finish off those obsidian statues just one shot on or one shot on each almost takes it down completely there goes the last one no more obsidian statues and lala yet takes a big victory and a bite out of lucifer thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it